Hi, Miss Neville Science students. So we're going into our next lesson about electromagnets. Electromagnets. Everything that you're going to see on the board today, you need to be writing down. Because this lesson is recorded, please take the time to um, pause this video if you need to get the notes slower, if Miss Neville goes too fast for you. So um, our learning objective for this lesson that we're going to be on for the next one and a half days is um, we want to develop and use models that explain how a magnetic field that is produced by electricity flows within a circuit. So that's what we'll be talking about today. We're going to be learning some new words. Anytime there's a new word, you'll either hear Miss Neville say the definition for the word, or you'll see a synonym for the word written beside it. Let's get to work. So our first piece of our notes that we want to write down is this question. What is an electromagnet? We need to know that an electromagnet is a type of magnet that uses electricity to produce a stronger magnetic field. So Wile E. Coyote, we've seen magnetic fields in our cartoons since we were little. We just didn't know what they were. Yes, guys, a magnetic field are those little bitty lines that are coming off of that magnet before Wiley attracts that big bomb. So what we see there is those little lines, there's little squiggles, though that, that is showing us a magnetic field. So let's understand magnets. Remember, we want to be writing these notes down. It's important for us to remember from kindergarten that magnets have poles, a north pole and a south pole. It's important for us to remember that these poles either attract to one another or they repel from one another. North and south like each other. So north and south poles will attract. Opposites attract. Like poles will repel one another. They push apart. And we see an example here of where the poles are attracting, the north and south poles are attracting and where the like poles are repelling. North and North don't like each other, so they're pushing away from one another. That's what that word repel means, to push apart. So this is an electromagnet. After all, guys, an electromagnet is just electricity plus magnetism coming together to create an electromagnet, thus its name. There are three main components of an electromagnet. There is the power source, just like with an electric circuit, we need to have a power source. Please draw this picture and label it. An iron core, that iron core is magnetic. Okay, so all by itself, it has a very small magnetic field. Okay, but when I hook that magnet up to electricity, it's going to make that magnetic field larger. It's going to make it more powerful, a more powerful magnet. And then a conductor. So we see two of the components that we have of an, of an electric circuit are there. And then we see that magnet, that iron core is added there. You see in the construction of this electromagnet, that our copper wire is wound around that iron core and coils. Those coils are important and we'll talk about why in a second. Please pause this video as you draw this picture and write label the parts of an electromagnet. It's important for us to understand why. Why are these the three most essential parts of the electromagnet? And the reason why is because these parts come together to make that magnet, that iron core, more powerful. We want to think of a magnetic field as what it is. It's invisible. So the, the that invisible magnetic field, I know it's there because if I put another magnet close to it, what will it do? It will attract. It will stick to it. So we know that magnetic field in that iron core is there. It's just not very strong. 
the magnetic field around that iron core is very small. When I add electricity to that iron core, to that nail, it makes my magnetic field larger and that makes my magnet stronger. So the power of the electromagnet, the power of the electromagnet, it's important for us to understand that an electromagnet can be made more powerful or less powerful, depending on two things that we need to understand as sixth grade scientists. The size of our power source, if I'm using a AAA battery to power an electromagnet versus one of these larger batteries to power an electromagnet, which electromagnet will be stronger? The one powered by this smaller battery or the larger power source? If you guess the larger power source, you're correct. The number of loops or coils or of copper wire around that iron core, that will also make the um, magnetic field larger and the magnet more powerful. And so we see here, the more, the more coils I wrap around my iron core, the more powerful it will become. So I want us to write this down. And this is the last bit of notes for this lesson. There's an energy transformation that's happening here. We see it here in our GIF. We see that when I turn my circuit on, when my circuit is closed or complete, that means all parts are connected, it's going to make this iron core attract paper clips. We saw how those paper clips were picked up. So what energy transformations are happening here? If I had to trace how energy is transforming in this situation, what am I seeing? And so the first, our first energy source here in this situation, the power source is a battery. And so we have chemical energy transforming into electrical energy. That's that energy that's flowing within that copper wire. And then that energy is transforming into magnetic energy, a new type of energy we've not discussed in the last five weeks. So this is our lesson for electromagnets. I hope to see you in class on Monday. Bye-bye.